Welcome to a maths video taking a look at GCSE indices. In this video our aim is to simplify and evaluate indices. Um, so let's just define what indices mean. Indices is the plural of index and an index just tells you how many times you have to multiply the base by itself. So I've got this kind of diagram here, what I'm talking about, the base is my number 8 here and then the index is that part just there. So what we're saying is that if we have 8 with an index of 2, we can say that that's the same as 8 times 8. Uh, similarly, if we've got 8 with an index of 3, so 8 cubed we would say, we would do 8 times 8 times 8. Okay, now what we're looking at are some rules of indices. What I suggest you do is you just note these down um, and refer back to them when you take a look at some examples later. So our first rule is that when we are multiplying um, two indices, if we multiply two indices together that have the same base, we are adding the two powers together. If we are dividing um, two indices, which ha again, they have to have the same base, we end up subtracting the powers. And lastly, if we are raising um, an indice by um, by a power, we have to multiply the two powers together. So let's take a look at what that means in action. <clears throat> so if I have, for example, a to the power of 4 multiplied by a to the power of 7, then this is going to give me a to the power of 11, simply adding the two powers together. Second example, I've got 2x cubed multiplied by 4x squared. Again, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to deal with each of these individually. So I'm going to do 2 multiplied by 4 first. 2 multiplied by 4 is 8. Then I'm going to multiply x cubed by x squared. As you saw up here, when I multiply these together, I'm simply just going to add the powers together. So it's going to give me 3 plus 2, x to the power of 5. Next one, again dealing with each part individually. I've got 3 times 5 first, that's going to give me 15. Then I've got a squared multiplied by a to the negative 4. So what's going to happen here is that I'm going to sum these together, add these together. 2 plus minus 4, that's going to give me a to the power of negative 2. So 2 plus minus 4 is going to give me negative 2. And then at the end I've got y multiplied by y to the power of 5. Now if um, if a term does not have, if you can't see any kind of um, index there, it means it is to the power of 1. So what I've got is I've got y to the power of 1 multiplied by y to the power of 5. So that is going to give me y to the power of 6. Okay, next one. I've got x to the power of 13 divided by x to the power of 4. If I, again, I'm just, this um, line here, that just means that we're going to be dividing x to the power of 13 divided by x to the power of 4. In this situation, I simply subtract the powers when I divide. So if I'm dividing, I'm subtracting um, 4 from 13. 13 minus 4, that's going to give me an answer of 9. Next one, I've got 18p to the power of 10 divided by 3p squared. Again, I'm dividing here, so let's start with my numbers first. 18 divided by 3, that is going to give me 6p to the power of 10 divided by p squared. As we saw just a moment ago, I'm subtracting the powers, so it's going to give me p to the power of oops, p to the power of 8. Okay, next one, I've got 20x to the power of 4, y to the negative 2, divided by 5x to the negative 1, y to the power of 4. So first off, I'm going to do 20 divided by 5, that is going to give me 4. Then I'm going to take a look at the next part, I've got to deal with the x's now. x to the power of 4 divided by x to the negative 1, that is going to give me x to the power of, so 4 um, subtract minus 1, 4 minus minus 1, that means it's going to be x to the power of 5. 
if you're not too sure about your negative numbers here it's really important you're up to scratch with these but what the sum that I've just done there is I've done 4 minus minus 1 if I see this situation where I've got two negative symbols in the middle of a sum that I'm doing then that ends up becoming a plus so 4 minus minus 1 is going to give me 5 so I'm at, I've dealt with the X's um, and now on to the Y's I've got Y to the negative 2 divided by Y to the power of 4 so minus 2 minus 4 that's going to give me minus 6 okay next one I've got a to the power of 5 um, raised to the power of 13 in this situation I multiply the powers so what I'm going to be left with, with here is a to the power of 5 multiplied by 13 and that's going to be give me a to the power of 65 next one I've got 6x to the power of 4 squared so I can if I if I imagine that this is basically saying I've got 6x to the power of 4 multiplied by 6x to the power of 4 because I'm squaring the term 6x to the power of 4 so what that leaves me with is 36x to the power of 8 6 times 6 gives me the 36 then x to the power of 4 multiplied by x to the power of 4 gives me x to the power of 8 remember that we're just adding those powers together um, ok last one let's deal with each part individually I've got 10x cubed y to the power of 5 raised to the power of 3 so uh, first of all let's deal with the 10 I'm going to do 10 cubed that's going to give me 1000 then I'm going to deal with the x terms x cubed raised to the power of 3 that's going to give me x to the power of 3 multiplied by 3 which is 9 lastly um, I've got y to the power of 5 raised to the power of 3 so that's going to give me y to the power of 5 multiplied by 3 which is y to the power of 15 could also think of this in another way. I could also say that this is um, the same as 10x cubed y to the power of 5 multiplied by 10x cubed y to the power of 5 multiplied by 10x cubed y to the power of 5. So again, if you were to evaluate that like we did earlier, you would see you would come up with the same answer. Um, that's a slightly longer way of doing it okay then guys what I'd like you to do now is to take a look at these practice questions what I suggest you do is you pause the video at this point attempt these questions on paper and then if you press play um, after you've paused it the answers will come up shortly so press pause now attempt the questions and the answers are coming up now So mark off your answers, check that you got them right. If you're not sure in any, um, drop me a message and I'll, I'll try to get back to you.